everybody's on their back. And I invite you to just enjoy this time on your mat this morning before you start your day. So let's go ahead and place uh, our hands on the stomach or uh, the belly. And uh, let the warmth of your hands soften this area. If you'd like, close your eyes. And as you start to breathe, imagine breathing into your belly. Inviting the breath into your belly. Feel the shape of the belly as you inhale, as it expands. And feel the shape as it flattens as you exhale. Inhale, expand, exhale, flatten. This is the area we want to breathe, but in addition, we want to breathe into our lungs. So feel the breath, not only in your belly, but in your lungs, in your ribs, in your back. Feel the whole 3D, a three-dimensional breath now that, or, that the origin was in your belly. Whole body expands as you inhale. The whole body softens and contracts as you exhale. Let's take two more breaths like this to start our practice. And then bring both hands to your heart and offer an intention for yourself and your practice today. Maybe just to renew your energy or whatever it is. <laughs> After you've set that intention, release your hands and help the knees to point up and the feet to rest on the floor. And then grab your yoga block. So find your yoga block, and we're gonna place that yoga block right between our inner thighs. And then we're gonna bend the arms, the fingers reach up, press into all four corners of your feet, and lift your hips as you squeeze your yoga block. Now exhale and lower down about an inch away from the mat and pause. Let the tailbone stretch away. And then squeeze the block, lift the hips again. And I want you to really lift a little more this time if you can. Pressing into all four corners of your feet. Exhale, lower down about an inch from the mat, from the floor. Go again one more time. And then still hovering an inch from the floor, let your hands lie down on the floor by your side, palms down and go again. Inhale, squeeze the block. Lower down about an inch from the floor. Again, inhale, squeeze the block. Maybe roll the shoulders under a little. Lower and be about an inch from the floor. Now inhale, squeeze the block and just raise one leg. It's kind of funky to do it because you're squeezing the block. And then lower that leg and foot and hover about an inch from the floor. Inhale, squeeze the block, lift the hips, raise the other leg. Lower the leg and foot and hover an inch from the floor. Last one, squeeze the block and lift your hips, maybe squeeze your fingers together and take your full bridge lifting as high as you can. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the block, release the hands, release the shoulders, and this time come all the way down, tailbone on the ground. Take the block out from between your thighs and gently lift one knee and then the other, and maybe hug your legs or your knees and rock out your back a little. If your back feels pretty healthy today, uh, you can join me in rocking and rolling on your spine, holding behind your legs and rocking up and back. I know you can't do this if your back hurts, but 
If you want to do it a couple times, go ahead. And we'll, then we'll come up to seated just for breath. And then we'll meet in our tabletop pose. So you can set the blocks aside now. So have your wrists right under your shoulders and your knees right under your hips. Tops of the feet flat on the ground, just in a neutral tabletop. Now, um, we're going to do these cat cows a little more mindfully today. We're gonna to do them together nice and slow. And the way we're gonna do approach them is by from the back, from the pelvis and the tail first, and then all the way lifting the head. So from neutral, lift your pelvis, your tailbone up, and then one vertebrae, one bone of your spine at a time, start to arch your back and lift your chin. So we're in the cow pose now. And then from the back, tuck your tail, your pelvis, and one vertebra at a time, round your back. Head hangs last. Again, nice and slow. Lift your tail, your sitting bones, your pelvis. Start to arch your back. Open your collarbones, your chest forward. Tilt your chin up a little, just a little. And then from the back side of your body, move into cat. Tuck your tail, tuck your sitting bones. And one vertebra at a time, round your back. Let's do it one more time and then we'll rest and go the other direction. Lift your tail, lift your sitting bones, pelvis, let your spine arch, let your chest come forward, come into your full expression of cow, belly hanging. Now tuck your tail, tuck your sitting bones, and slowly one vertebra at a time, come into cat, round your back. And then come to neutral. Bring your toes together, your knees out, and take uh, a child's pose. You can use your block for this child's pose. Let's see, we can bring our, our, our forearms on it, our elbows, and uh, maybe even bring our hands to prayer. You can do that or not. I, I'm just, you know, just offering you different things to do with the blocks. So take any kind of child's pose that you like. Four breaths. Remember those three dimensional breaths, the ribs, the belly, the back, the shoulders, the whole body breathing, renewing your energy. All right, and then we'll come back out of that child pose, back up to that tabletop, shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees again. This time, let's see if I can remember how to do it. We're going to start with the head the chin, the front of the body. We're going to lift our chin very just gently and one vertebra at a time, let the back arch. Coming to cow. Now we're gonna slowly tuck our chin to our chest, one vertebra at a time, round your back for cat. Pull the ribs up, pull the stomach up. And then again, starting with your chin, leading it forward. Coming into cow, one vertebra at a time, back is arch. Again, tucking the chin, rounding the back. Cat. Go one more on your own, leading with your chin and chest. And when you're finished, come to neutral. All right, come to neutral. And let's go ahead and bring the big toes to touch, send the knees out wide. And this time, not a child's, but we're gonna take the left arm, thread it under the right, just for breath. Come down to your shoulder if you can, the side of your head and then take it out and up and open up in a twist. We're gonna do three more times. Thread the left arm under the right. Press up and open up. Twist the left arm up into the air. 
Let's let's go two more times. Thread the needle. Open it up into a twist. And last one. Thread the needle. And open it up. Let's do the other side now. Come back down with your palms. Now the right arms turn, it goes under the left, thread the needle, lower your shoulder, right shoulder, right side of your head. And then press up and reach up, open the chest, so reach the right arm up. Go three more on your own. I'm starting to warm up, Wendy. <laughs> And last one. Finish up the last one to bring the palms down and bring the knees narrow again. <clears throat> and then walk your hands forward about a print, hand print, spread the fingers wide, tuck your toes behind you and hover an inch from the mat with your shins and knees. Keep hovering, hovering, hovering. Come down and rest. Untuck your toes, maybe tap them out. Let's go one more time. Curl your toes behind you, hover your knees and shins about an inch from the mat. This time, go a little higher from the mat, a little higher till you find yourself in down dog. Feet about hips width apart. Settle into your downward dog and breathe in and out through your nose. If you need to pedal out, go ahead and do that, or just be still and breathe in and out through your nose. From this down dog, we're gonna soften the knees now, bend the knees and come back down to the yoga mat. All right, so from here, we're going to work on spinal uh, balance and length in the spine. So it's almost like everything we do, imagine that you have, don't do it, but imagine that you have a, a yoga bro, a block on your back, okay? And, and we don't want it to fall off. So the first thing we're gonna do is reach the right arm forward and then take the left leg back. Imagining that you have that yoga block on your back. Final balance and breathe through your nose. If you want to put the block on your back, you can, but we're going to start moving pretty soon. So now draw the knee in and the elbow in and maybe tap. And then spinal balance, lengthen everything out again. Draw the knee in, the elbow in, maybe they touch, maybe not. And then stretch everything long again, spinal balance, go two more. Take the time to really hold in knee to elbow and feel the belly core working and then take time to stretch out. Good, and then come all the way back down and sit back on your shins, roll your wrists out, take a little break. Ready to do the other side, back to tabletop. Right leg stretches back, stretches long behind you. Left uh, arm forward. Spinal balance. Try to press away from the earth, resisting gravity. Breathing through your nose. And then draw the knee in, the elbow in. Maybe they touch, maybe they don't. Feel the core muscles and then lengthen everything back out nice and long. Go three more this time on your own. Mindfully moving, following the movement, noticing the breathing. Finish up the last one and we'll meet back in tabletop with the knees under the hips and the wrists under the shoulders. Now walk those hands, another handprint in front or handprint in half getting ready for down dog. Check your toes behind you, ready? Let's hover an inch from the mat. 
two inches from the mat, three inches, lift the higher, higher, higher to your back and downward dog, and breathe in and out through your nose. Draw the heads of the shoulders down your back. All right, take one or two more deep breaths in and out through your nose. And then I'll meet you at the front of your mat. So you can soften your knees, and take as many walks or steps as you need to. I'm gonna turn the other side to face the other side of the front of my mat. Just That's just me, you don't have to do that. And then walk your feet to your hands. Grab your elbows, bend your knees, relax and fold. your elbows, come up flat back, make the spine long. You can have your hands on your legs or on a block. Lift the chest and the breastbone away from the earth. And then with the next exhale, fold again. We're gonna come, we're gonna roll up, press into the all four corners of the feet and roll up and reach up today. Just reach up with the arms. Feet are kind of close together. Grab your left wrist and lean to the right. We're going to come up and change sides. Grab your right wrist and lean to the left. And back up. We'll change sides one more time. Grab the left wrist, lean to the right. Come up, change sides last time. Grab the right wrist, lean to the left. Now we're going to come all the way back up. Arms are reaching right alongside the ears. Now open the arms wide, like a Y, for the YMCA. Most of us are from the YMCA. And then bring your arms back and your palms to touch. Press into your feet and lengthen as tall as you can. All right, and then relax, hands to your heart. So be at the front of your mat. And we're going to flow now into different postures, nice and slow, and link them all together. But we're going to warm up with two sun salutations. So let's do them the same way we just did that uh, little sequence with the arms. We're just going to reach the arms straight up. Then we're going to open the arms like a big Y. The body looks like the letter Y, capital Y. And then we're going to bring the palms to touch overhead, lengthen even more. And then bend your knees, fold forward, hands down in a prayer and release. Drop your head. And then come up to a flat back. And then place your palms on the ground, step back one leg at a time to a plank pose. First one, put your knees down and bend your elbows and come down like the top of a push up. Press into your palms and come up to cobra, any shape that feels good to you. Back down. Rest your head on the ground and repeat. Come up cobra or maybe up dog. Exhale, release back down, forehead on the ground. Last one, come up, up dog or cobra, and back to down dog. Take a few breaths in and out of your nose if you can, in down dog. Good, and then relax, step or hop to the front of your mat, lightly, and come up flat back. Exhale and fold, and inhale. Rise up, reach up, open the arms like a Y, the letter Y. Bring the palms to touch, stretch up, look up, and then exhale, hands to heart. Let's go one more time. Inhale, reach up, make the letter Y. Palms press overhead, and then fold forward, bring the hands in a prayer to the earth. 
the head go. Come up flat back. And then fold, step back one foot at a time, plank. You can stay high or low. Come down. And if you want to come up upward dog, pressing into the palms and tops of the feet with the thighs and knees. That's too much, stay in cobra. And back to downward dog. Stay there, pedal out, get ready for what's coming next. Breathe any way you like. When you're ready, raise the right leg in the air. <clears throat> Open up your hip and bend your right knee. Let the heel fall through, fall back to your hip or buttock. Roll your ankle out if you'd like. You can look under your right arm or straight down. And then raise the leg again. Let, uh, flat, uh, square off your hips. And lower that right foot to the floor. Let's try the other side. Left leg, raise. Open the hip, bend the left knee. Roll out your ankle. Level your hips, your pelvis, stretch the leg back up in the air for a breath, and then bring it back down. All right, and again, look forward, step or float to the front of the mat. Forward fold. Come up flat back. Forward fold, and raise yourself gently all the way up. Reach your fingers overhead, make that capital Y. Lift the chest. And then palms press, reach high, high, high up, and then hands to your heart. All right, now we're just gonna circle the arms. Circle the arms, reach up, and swan dive. Bend the knees a lot, protect your back. Rise up halfway, and then fold. Put your hands down and step back with the left leg. And lower the left knee onto the mat. <clears throat> Make sure your right knee is right over your ankle. And then inhale up. Reach those arms up. And then open the arms. Make that letter Y. Bring the arms up. And palms press. Look up. Feel that spine lengthening. Breathe in and out through your nose. And then a big exhale. Hands come back down. Stretch your, your hip back for the half split. And then find that lunge again. Go again two more times. Stretch your hip back, find that half split, or use your yoga blocks. I'll get mine to, to demonstrate. And then come back to that lunge. Last time, roll your hips back. You can use the yoga blocks under your hand, half split. Dorsal flexion of the right foot. So the foot is flexed, toes towards your knee. Breathe in and out through your nose. Last breath here. And come all the way back to the, the, um, to the lunge. Release your hands to the ground. And let's see, step to the front of your mat. Forward fold, let's go again. Take a long step back with your right foot, lower your right knee, use your blocks if you'd like. Come up. Oh, we don't need the blocks yet because we're raising the arms, sorry. Reach the arms up, make the letter Y. Reach the arms up, press the palms, the fingers, send that energy up to the sky from your fingertips. Offer a prayer for our planet. And then exhale, release your hands back down to the floor or blocks, roll your hips back for that half split. And here you can go back and forth, lunge, half split a few times till you're ready to settle into your half split position. Take a few breaths, flexing the left foot. We'll finish that last breath in and out. And then roll back to the, uh, the lunge, release the blocks, and step back to a plank. Now try to keep your knees off the mat and raise your right leg from the floor. 
your right foot and your right leg, just a couple inches from the floor. Hold one legged plank if you can. And then switch plank, raise your left leg. So we're in plank. And then release. Good. Press back. Downward dog. Breathe in and out through your nose. Okay. So from here, we're going to come back to plank. Now we're going to raise not only the right leg and foot, but we're going to we're going to curl the right knee in. And we're going to curl the right knee in. Press into your palms, raise that right shin a little higher, and then step it back plank. Let's go with the left leg now. Bring the left knee forward. Breathing in and out, raise the left shin a little higher from the ground, and then back to plank and back to down dog. Let's take a break, come back down to the knees, and take any style of child's pose that you like this morning. The pose that uh, helps you deal with what we just did and release. You can be still, you can rock, whatever feels good. Let that warmth that I think most of us might be feeling now spread through your body. Okay, from child's pose, uh, let's uh, let's. Let's lift up and walk out, walk off to the right with our hands. Just uh, walking off to the right side of the, the mat, or maybe you're on the carpet or floor. And then once you get there, bend your right arm and press into your right hand and really lengthen through your left arm. So the right arm is bent, palm pressing down, left arm is long. Good, both arms reach and we walk back to the middle. Let your head rest down on the ground. Two more breaths. One and two. And come up, walk your hands off to the left and then bend the left arm and press into your left hand and reach through your right. Soften your jaw. Hopefully nobody's clenching their teeth. Both arms reach forward. We walk our hands back and come up to tabletop once again. All right, from here, we're gonna step the right foot to the right, uh, next to the right thumb or right hand and come up off our left knee. We're gonna, we're gonna come up to warrior one slowly. So turn your left leg and foot down like you're gonna come up to warrior one, have a yoga block near your right foot though. And let's slowly come up warrior, uh, warrior two, I'm sorry, did I say one? I, my bad, warrior two. So look down at your feet, heel, arch, look at your right knee and let your arms stretch out, yet soften your neck and shoulders. And also let your collarbone soften and spread the length of your arms. Let the base of your neck soften and spread the length of your arms. We're in warrior pose too. Hopefully I didn't confuse everybody. All right, then we're gonna turn the right palm up and stretch up into reverse warrior. And if you do have um, that block handy, what we're gonna do is take side angle. You can have the block on the tallest level and you can place your right hand on it and stretch your left arm directly up to the seat. One more breath in the supported side angle. If you don't have a block, I guess your, your right arm's resting on the top of your thigh. Now press into all four corners of your feet and come back up and straighten your front leg. Turn your back foot in at, a, at an angle, more triangle now. Press through all four corners of your feet, stretch, 
And you can bring your hand down to the block here as well, or to the shin. Press into your feet. Take them all the way up. Bend your right leg again, warrior two. And then release your hands down to the yoga mat. Step back and take a vinyasa or just press your hips high for down dog. Plenty of choices. Breathe in and out through your nose and lower back down to knees and hands from down dog. Step your left foot forward now. Come off your back, meet your right knee and put your right foot down for warrior two. Left leg bent and open your arms. Look at your feet. Look at your left knee. And then let your collarbones expand just like your arms. Let the, the chest relax and open the base of the neck. Look past your left fingers. Beautiful. One more breath, and then we'll turn the left hand up and reach up in reverse warrior pose. Good, and then we're going to release back for your two. Forgot to say, have your yoga block outside your left ankle and take side angle. Hand on the block or just rest the arm on the thigh. Right arm reaches straight up. Four breaths, your back leg like a strong kickstand. After that fourth breath, press into your feet, come all the way up, and then stretch your left leg straight, preparing for triangle. You can turn your back foot in, lengthen, repeat that triangle pose on this side now. Hand on the block, lightly or on the shin. Here and feel your breath in and out through your nose. Good, and then press it to your feet. Rise up, back to warrior two. And then we'll release the hands back down and step back to down dog. A breath or two in and out through your nose and then hop or step to the front of your mat and come directly into Utkatasana uh, chair pose. So lower your hips and raise your arms. Feel like your tailbone is tucking. Now we'll take a twist, bring your hands to heart and go right slowly. Keep your hips pressing back, your heart forward. Good, and then come back to chair, hips up, dropping arms up. Hands to prayer again and then go left. Hips back, heart forward, spine open, extending like a telescope. Good, and then go back to a forward fold, an easy forward fold, you can bend your knees. All right, and then back to a chair, slowly back to a chair and take it all the way up till your arms are reaching up alongside your ears. Let's make that big capital Y shape again. That's it. And then close your arms, your palms touch, and hands to our heart. A couple breaths before we, uh, we're gonna do balance and then we're gonna do a couple sun salutation Bs. So let's take a chair pose and then a half chair for balance. So go ahead and Drop your hips, raise your arms. Put all the weight in the left, I'm sorry, in the, sorry. Put all the weight in the right leg and raise the left for half chair. So just cross the ankle over. You can be near a wall for support. You can bring those hands in. 
Flex the left foot. This is our balance pose today. Half chair. Couple slow, relaxed breaths. Dropping your hips. Anytime you need to, when you're ready, release, come back up, stretch all the way up. And we'll try the other side in a second. So I forgot to say you can have the back, the wall at your back even, or at your side if you, if you want the support. Come back to chair, put all the weight in the left, cross the right ankle over the left, hands to heart. Balancing half chair, acknowledge what this side feels like. Take one more breath together with this half chair and then release up and out of it or down and up out of it. And hands to heart, shake it off. Balance is just what it is practice. All right, so front of the mat, we're gonna do two sun salutation Bs. We did these on Thursday, beginning in chair. Slowly, gently drop the hips, raise the arms. Take an inhale through your nose and as you get ready to exhale, Fold and bow over your legs. Find that flat back. And then fold and bow over your legs again. From here, let's step back to down dog. Raise your right leg up in the air and step it to warrior one. Slowly reach the arms over. This, this is different than warrior two. Our hips are Straight ahead. Open the arms like a Y again. And then press the palms overhead. Press down into the floor as you press up into your palms. One more breath. Good. And then release the hands down. Step back to a plank, high or low. Take the gentle vinyasa or skip it. And I'll meet you back in down dog. Careful, raise the left leg. Step it or help it forward to the left hand. With both feet flat on the ground and raise yourself up to warrior one. Open the arms like a capital Y. And then hug them back together, palms pressing together, reaching up, soles of feet pressing down. Good. Last breath here. Release the hands back down to the ground. Again, you can take plank and the vinyasa or just meet in down dog. Breathing in, breathing out. Get ready to step or hop to the front of your mat. Drop your hips again. Raise your arms or back in chair. Press into your feet. Come all the way up. And then hands to the heart. Rest a breath or two. We'll do one more. All right, so back to chair. Inhale. Exhale, fold <laughs> over your legs. Find your flat back. And then plant your hands, walk it back to down dog. This time we'll go again, same thing, right leg up. Step it or help it forward. Rise up, warrior one. Reach the arms up. Open up into a Y. Press the palms together. Hold here for two breaths. Breathing in and out through your nose. Good, and then we release the hands. Take the vinyasa or skip it and go back to down dog. I'm just going to go to down dog. I'll wait for you guys. And then the left leg, left leg in the air. Step it forward, both feet on the ground. Rise up, warrior one. When you're ready, make the Y. And then close the Y, palms press, two breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last time we break, we bring the hands down. And last time we can flow or go back to down dog. 
to each their own. Pick what you like. So meet in down dog. And instead of walking our feet to the front, we're going to do it a little different. We're going to walk our hands back towards our feet, turn our feet out for the malasana, the squat again. Um, so find your, your perfect squat this morning and be aware of the pelvic floor muscles lifting, active, shoulders softening. Oh yeah, we did the block version, I think on Thursday. You can use that block, put one hand and raise the other for a twist. Forgot about that. You don't have to, but these are just little options you can do and switch side. And then we'll come back to the center, release down to the mat and take that weighted butterfly pose again that we did. Here's another thing you might experiment with your yoga blocks, by the way. Uh, so start by bringing your feet together. And if you bring them close, you'll notice the intense stretch in your inner thighs. But if you bring them further away, you might notice a stretch on the outer. So find which one you like. I'm gonna bring mine as close as possible to my body. And then I'm gonna put a block under each leg, okay? And by doing that, I can let my knees kind of relax and release and then weight my legs with my arms. You can do that with the blocks or not. Take a few breaths in and out through your nose in the weighted butterfly pose. And prepare to release. If you do have your blocks under the legs, set them aside. And we're gonna face the front of the mat. One more time, we can use a block. We have what two more block uh, things, I think. Block, you can go between the thighs again for the boat pose. So I'm just putting the block right between the thighs and squeezing it. You can um, lift your legs and squeeze the block. You can hold your legs or stretch your arms. Uh, let's go four breaths. One, two, keep squeezing that block if you're using it. If not, just do your regular boat. Three and four and release. That one's so hard. All right, so let's roll down to lie on our back. Get supine again like we did at the beginning of the class and draw the knees in towards your chest. Massage out your back, rock left and right. Keep one block handy for what we're going to do pretty soon. All right, so rocking your back left and right, massaging your back. Arms can be on the legs or on the floor. And then circling out, drawing circles. Nice round circles with your legs. Go in one direction. Go in the other direction to massage out your back. All right, and then we're gonna come back to the middle, put our feet down like we're gonna be in bridge pose. And this time have that block handy, like I mentioned, raise your hips up off the floor on the lowest level, put that yoga block under your low back. Find the stability of your back feeling like it's safe on that block, be it a supported bridge for a breath. Your hands are holding the block, raise your legs one at a time for a little inversion, legs are in the air. You can hold the block or not, but make sure you feel stable. And I'm gonna see how you guys are doing. If you don't have a block, just use your hands under your back. I'm gonna stay for about seven breaths, letting the blood flow down <clears throat> to the brain and heart. I see everybody's legs in the air. <laughs> I mean, you could do a normal shoulder, shoulder stand, but without, you know, it, it, it's, it's better to do this, I think. It's more stable and safer on your neck. <clears throat> All right. 
All right, so if you want to do anything else, like make a Y with your legs, open and close, or if you want to pedal out, feel free to do anything else for the next couple moments. Maybe bicycle out your legs slowly. Have fun on your block. And then we'll bring our feet down to the floor pretty soon. Lift our hips and take the block away. All right, so stretch your right leg long and hug the left knee in. And then switch, stretch your left leg long and hug the right knee in. Now hug both knees in and take your arms out to the floor like the capital T and let your knees rest on the right side of the bot on the floor. Turn your head left. You can make it a weighted twist with your right hand pressing on the legs if you'd like. Simply observe being in this twist and accepting the breath in and out. That's it. Now, slowly, slow enough, safely enough, come back up to center and change sides. Let the knees fall all the way off to the left. Lynn, your cat is showing me its tail. I see it. Looks like a raccoon. And it can be a weighted twist with your left hand pressing on the legs. Hi, kitty. Just simply observe and accept the breath here. And with a lot of gentleness, come back up. And maybe a happy baby to uh, finish off before Shavasana. Or if there's anything else you need now, pull it out of your bag of trip, tricks and enjoy it. And then we'll move into Shavasana. So take your time, do whatever else you still need to do. And now we're gonna start Shavasana. Have your blankets handy if you wanna be cozier or warmer. Craft the perfect little Shavasana nest for yourself. Take the time to do it, no rush. Let yourself uh, melt into the ground. Feet are relaxed, fingers are relaxed. Take a few breaths. And then let go and let the breath do its own thing as your body continues to relax and sink into the mat. That's enough for now. Just let the body sink into the mat. Just for now, without asking how, let yourself sink into stillness. Just for now, lay down the weight you so patiently bear on your shoulders. Feel the earth receive you and the infinite expanse of the sky grow even wider as your spirit rises up to meet it. Just for now, allow a wave of gentle breath to enliven your experience. 
Breathe out whatever blocks you from the truth. Just for now, be boundless, free, with free flowing energy moving into your whole body, hands and feet. Drink in the possibility of being who and what you really are. So fully alive that the world looks different, newly born and vibrant, just for now. Enjoy this time in your Shavasana.